Why are they still flying Block 2 ships if the design is obsolete? Well, from one Block 2 ship to the other Block 2 ships, there are a lot of changes. So Block just means a group of ships that have roughly the same base design. And then comes Block 3, which is going to be longer, it's going to have major changes in it, and so on and so forth. But that doesn't mean that Block 2 always was the same ship. SpaceX learns from every flight. And anybody who tells you that SpaceX is failing is wrong. SpaceX is leading the entire space flight industry. SpaceX already has the booster validated. They launched it, they caught it, and they reflew it. They're just working on making it even better now, which is insane because it's the largest rocket booster ever built, and it's also even supposed to be mass producible in the end. Seeing these failures makes you think, when are they finally going to reach orbit? The, the thing is, though, that the goal of Starship is not to reach orbit. The goal of Starship is to figure out how to build the largest rocket ever built, how to make it mass producible, and rapidly reusable. To be able to achieve this final goal, you have to do a lot of basic research. This doesn't quite look like what they're doing with Falcon 9, right? Falcon 9 is being built in clean rooms. SpaceX's goal is to get this as close as possible to something like the automotive industry, where you produce thousands of cars with people that you can train rather quickly because everything's streamlined and automated and everybody knows what they're doing. They do not want to have PhD engineers in a clean room to build Starships. They want to do this in a completely different way. And that's why it looks so strange. Starship is supposed to be built three times a week. So it is a completely different project. And that's 